Crush is the word, Manx word for cross, and kern is from the, the Manx word for the mountain ash tree. And they would make them at um, this time of year, just before May, to ward off evil spirits. They believed um, in witches and the the queerfellas, as they sometimes call them themselves, um, the Munjavega, they often get called. You never quite trust them. Um, you have to be very careful about them, but you want to just avoid if you can. <laughs> some wool that you've collected off the hedgerows rather than having been cut off a sheep or on barbed wire you collect it from, from the bushes that's just naturally come off as the sheep have brushed past. You have to use your thumbnail to score a little hole um, through, it just makes it easier to keep the cross together, um, but if you just score it with your thumbnail and push another little piece through and then you wrap it with some wool that you, you need to sort of make the um, wool into some kind of a, a, a thread. I usually roll it along my knee um, and then uh, you just wind it round um, sort of in a X sort of shape and uh, then tuck it in at the back and hope it stays, it usually does. When you make them you don't use any iron or any metal and um, you have to use your hands only because I think they believed um, anything metal was to do with the nails that put Jesus on the cross. These days people think of it as a good luck symbol as much as anything. And then um, you can put it up on your back door and on your front door to ward away the evil spirits for the year. We're the only island who does this so if we don't keep our own tradition as alive nobody else will. And it's good to see where we've come from and it just sets us apart, makes us a little bit different from the rest of the world.